Hey everybody, so this is Nikki's The One. Today is um, April the 18th, Tuesday, and I'm going to be doing a video about my health journey and my 30-day, um, uh, basically, diet. Um, so if you are interested, definitely stay tuned, and I hope you enjoyed this video. So I'm going to be talking about my 30-day uh, challenge for myself. I um, for those of you who've been watching me from the beginning, you know that I started out reaching a plateau of 230 pounds. Um, basically, it was after I had my son. He's six now. And I just, I got to 230 pounds. I'll show you a picture of before and after now. Um, but since then I have been consistently around the 160s. Sometimes I would, I think the lowest since I've been, uh, dieting and everything, it's been like 157. That's the lowest that I've been, but I've been between 157 and 168. Um, so I just been teetering, tottering for those, uh, 10 pounds and I just want to get, um, I want to get more comfortable in my own skin. I feel like right now a lot of people feel like I'm a skinny mini compared to how I was. But you know when you're comfortable in your own skin, you know uh, you just want to be the best you. So it's not about what other people think about you. It's not about uh, what people think you should and should not do. It's about your inner feelings, your self-confidence, and about you feeling the best uh, that you can be, period. So it doesn't matter what anybody else says. This is the first thing when it comes to uh, dieting. Just tune everybody else out because it's not about um, them um, thinking that you look good because at 230 pounds, people thought that I still look good and I didn't look that I weighed that much. But because I knew that I was breathing, one thing that I noticed was I got asthma and I kept my asthma. And when I was on the phone with people, when I was walking up the stairs, I was, like, literally gasping for breath. Like, I sounded like I was running when I was only walking up the stairs or even if I walked down the street. When I was on the phone, I was catching my breath, just talking on the phone and walking. So I knew that it was something going on with me. I have chondromalacia of my right patella. So basically that is when you are um, losing... Uh, it's a degenerative uh, disease that you're losing the cartilage in your knee. I don't really know how I got it. The doctors thus far have told me that um, young people get it. Uh, if they're very active in their young ages, you may have fell on it, whatever. But basically, it's too much use of your joints, and this causes this. Um, and again, it's called chondromalacia of my right patella. And because since then, I've been... Um, Basically needing medication to sleep at night because it's very painful. It hurts a lot. And my doctor basically told me that I needed to lose weight. So that was one of the things when it starts affecting you mentally. It starts affecting your self-esteem. And then it got to me physically where I was having these pains physically and needing to go to the doctor, having doctor's bills. Still, to this day, I have doctor's bills because of those different MRIs that they've done. I've had a series of shots that they've done. And I just had to have this conversation with my doctor. You need to lose weight, period. That's just what it is. Less weight and pressure on your knee and on your joints will... It's not going to ever be like, oh, you're 100%, but it's going to be less pressure on your knee and on your joints, and that's going to cause less pain. So, honestly, I've just been doing different health kicks. I've been juicing. I've been um, trying to work out. But the best thing for me is, first, you have to set your mind to it. You have to think it up in your mind. I'm going to do this regardless of what anybody thinks. You have to prepare yourself mentally. Second, I say, reach out to somebody that's into health, that is all into health, that 
succeeded at it, not successful at it, but just just as into health that has more information about it than you, because you don't want to go into this whole health thing blindsided and not knowing the truth behind it. So seek, do your research, do your research on different foods, different things that may work. And while you don't want to just be stuck on those get being quick diets because you're going to go back and forth and teach the It's about lifestyle change. It's being healthy with your lifestyle, period. Okay? So, like right now, I'm going to be doing the juicing. I told my dad, and let me just go back a little bit. I, I, I went out and asked my dad because he is a big bodybuilder. He works out five times a week. And he, that's his life. His life is about health. He's very health conscious. And I just asked him, I'm like, literally, Dad, how long does it take for me to get to where I need to be? He said, let's be realistic. It's going to take about a year. He said, yeah, you might be working out real heavy, be disciplined, and you might like where you are. But as far as everything changing the way you want to and, you know, you being where you need to be, Take know that it may take a, up to a year to you to get exactly where you want to be. This is not no get get a uh, quick thing, and you know you need to know that it's going to take time. It's going to take discipline. It's going to take consistency. You're going to fall off. You know, it's been times before where I just I was doing good for a week. I was doing good for two weeks, and then I just. I had me a burger. So I'm like, oh my gosh, now I can't get back on. No, it does not mean anything because you fell off that horse. Get back on it. You know, we're human. We make mistakes and you can do it, period. That's what it is. We're going to mess up in life. We're going to fuck up. But you need to get back on it. Yeah, I did it. Take accountability and get back on it. That's what it's about. Okay. So anyways, um, know that you're going to mess up. But know that you have to get back on it. If this is what you want to do, get back on it. Okay. Sorry about this. I, I'm just giving you the background of what you need to do to even get your mind right, to be disciplined about it. Do your research. Um, know that you're going to mess up. But know that with consistency and getting back on it, it's about how much you really want this. Okay? So, with that being said, I'm going to be doing a 30-day challenge. Um, yesterday was my first day. I said the first two days I'm going to be doing water fasting period like just water because on easter um which was two days ago i i pigged out because i knew that i was going to be doing this i started at 163 pounds when i got on that scale honey i was 169 pounds i do not know how you can gain six pounds in one day honey but i gained it girl bread mac and cheese i ooh, girl i got it like mm, mm. Mm. But it's cool, though, because after this 30 days, I will be where I want to be. My goal is 150 pounds, period. That's where I want to be. That's where I want to be before my birthday, and that's where I'm going to be, period. It's made up in my mind already. That's what it's going to be, okay? And it's not even about the number. It's about the chart of being healthy. I'm 5'6", and being healthy on the chart for doctors is 150 pounds. Also, I just want to feel like the best me. Um, I feel like I'm a little soft around everywhere, so I feel like I need to tone. So every day I'm going to be doing my routines of uh, workouts at home. I'm going to be doing uh, sit-ups and push-ups and squats. That's what I'm going to be doing every single day for this 30-day challenge. Um, also... After the second day, which is today, um, I'm going to be um, doing from day three through day 15, I'm going to be juicing or smoothies, a replacement for my meals. No coffee. Those of you who know me know that I need coffee in the mornings. Like, I, if I don't have coffee, I'm off balance. But so far today is my second day. Yesterday was not really that bad. I got a little bit of a headache around 2, 3 p.m., Took a little nap, and every time that I got hungry, I just drank water. Water, 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 water. And then the thing is, when you're doing your water fast at first, I definitely recommend those uh, flavored waters. I have, uh, I've talked about the Nestle flavored water. They have raspberry, they have lemon, they have cherry they have so many different types and they're at the dollar tree like they're very affordable and you can get it okay 
So um, that's when you want, when you're fiending for a little bit of a flavor of anything, I think that's a good thing for a switch up when you're doing the water, the water fast for the first two days. But day three through 15, I will be um, still drinking my water, nothing else for my drinks. But for my meal replacements, three days, three times a day, I will be doing only fruits and vegetables, mixing it. In my um, blender, or I will be um, juicing it. That, those are going to be my meal replacements. And then if I want uh, to drink anything, it's going to be my water. So that's what I'm going to be doing from day 3 through 15. I've done this before. I've done 10 days, and it was really hard at first. I'm not going to lie. You're going to be hangry. You're going to have an attitude with people. So just let people know ahead of time, your family and loved ones, look, this is what I'm doing. And if I have an attitude, this is why. I apologize ahead of time because that's what it's going to be, especially if you're not used to it. Um, day 16 through 30 is going to be a raw vegan diet, meaning um, no dairy, um, just raw veggies and and fruits that's what it is and it's really not that much of a difference from the juicing you just can eat the full the solids of the fruits and veggies so I don't think there's nothing too much wrong with that but um I started on the 17th which was yesterday so on um May the 17th I will be up on my 30 day challenge and if you guys want to begin with me even if you want to do 15 days if you want to start with 10 days I definitely Come join me. Let me know your story. I am so excited about this. It's more about losing weight, should I say. It's about health. It's about being um, healthy. It's about living that healthy lifestyle. Um, my auntie is in the hospital now. She has so many different complications. And she's been there for a little over two months. And it just makes me realize that life is not promised. At any point, you can be in the hospital, your 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 health can fail. So it's good to live your life. And if you have any any power over just being health conscious, why not? Why not try to just do right and be healthy and make it a part of your lifestyle? I'm not saying cut cold turkey, but I'm just saying, you know, maybe once or twice a week you can live a vegetarian lifestyle. Or maybe, you know, you can cut out pork or maybe you can cut out beef for a week. You know, just try to integrate it and you'll find that more and more, the more information that you have on certain foods and what they can cause in your life and certain foods and the health and benefits they have, the more that you're going to be interested about it and integrating it into your lifestyle. So I am so on this health kick. I am so on this healthy lifestyle and living healthy and just being well um, because it's, it's in my family. We have so many different things, like so many. We have, I just found out yesterday, we have breast cancer in my family. We have diabetes. We have high blood pressure. We have heart disease. I have so many things against me with my, my family predisposition of their health history, period. It's like, why would I, with me knowing all of the things that's going on in my family and the background of the health why would I not try to do better? You know, why would I not try to break it? I know some things is just inevitable. It just happens. You get it. It's life. But while I am well, while I know and am aware, why not try to do the best that I can do to just live a healthy lifestyle and be more active and just try to make my contribution with my own health. So that's just what I'm saying. And I'm sorry that this video is going a little um, long, but... I'm very passionate about my lifestyle. This has been about my health. This has been a part of my lifestyle and it's been integrated. Everything that I eat. Like, I've been really bad lately. And I, like I said, you go going to mess up. I love ice cream. I love cheese. Like, that's just what it is. I've been a vegetarian for uh, five months now. And a lot of people look at me and like, how how you let meat go? And it's just, I made up in my mind first. It was a two-week thing that I said, hey, you know, I'm going to be vegetarian I'm just sick of this I'm sick of this you know and then I just decided to keep going and keep going and it's been five months now and I do not have a want or yearning for me at all I just don't um like at family gatherings I eat sides that's what I eat the thing that I'm struggling with is dairy I love cheese I love ice cream like gelato ice cream is my 
uh, it's called, yeah, gelato ice cream. It's, it's what I love. But I have to let some things that you love, if you eat it too much, it's not good. Anything that you eat too much of is not good. So I am even saying, I'm saying this, I'm learning to let some things go that I know is not good for me. And it's about discipline and focus and training your mind. So if you guys want to join me with this journey, definitely let me know how it goes. I welcome you. For, so for the every few days, I'm just going to be checking in with you, letting you know how I'm feeling, how it's going, how everything's going. But I am... Welcome you to this challenge. It's going to be a 30 day challenge. I will be done May the 17th. And I hope you guys join me in, on this journey. And I'm just happy to be here with you guys. So I'll see you next time. Again, this is Nikki Zawan. Thumbs up and subscribe if you like videos like this. Remember, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers so we can get to this getaway, giveaway. And if you have any ideas as far as to what type of items you would like for uh, my next giveaway, let me know down in the um, comment box below because I want to give you what you want. So... Again, stay safe, be blessed, and I love you. Bye.